In this edition of Twin Rail Game Reviews, we'll be taking a look at the game Ballpoint Universe Infinite by Arachnid Games. Now, Ballpoint Universe Infinite is a shoot 'em up adventure game where you explore the various worlds of the Doodle Towns, or explore the various Doodle Towns in, I guess, Doodle World, and you talk to various people to have you go on various missions. There's 10 different, no, 16 different missions in the game, and there's also an infinite mission, which I guess is basically all the missions one after another. Now, all you really do is, as you see here, you walk around talking to different guys, and there was a mission I could have went into. Yeah, as you're walking around, you find different people in different locations. You can use your gamepad to look up some of the stuff as well because you have a bigger view of the game on the gamepad with some of the stuff missing on the gamepad such as that little ink counter in the bottom left which shows you how much money you've got and you can find different golden stamps whatever as well for your collection but the main thing is going through missions so let's go ahead and start up a mission here which as you can see I've already done and gotten bronze on and so let's go ahead and start. Now, when you start, you can go and look through the different options here for weapons. You have two guns, or two types of weapons on your ship, along with a nose type weapon, and a wing type upgrade. Could be a weapon, could be, uh, like I said there, there's a seeker missile, which I haven't opened up. There's afterburner options, health options, a lot of different options in here for for weapons and stuff. Unfortunately, I'm having a lot of trouble getting into this game. I am a fan of shoot 'em ups. This isn't one of them. So let's go into the actual mission here to show you what it looks like. Now, as you can see here, the art. I don't mind the art. It's not favorite of mine. Some people really like the art and hey, everyone has their own opinion. For me, it's not that bad. Background music, you know, it's okay. The sound effects are decent though. The animations in the background, sometimes they're smooth, some of the times you can see there's some type of frame rate issues. I'm not sure if it's because I'm running in progressive and it can't handle 60 frames a second or what's going on with the background animations at times. As you can see here I got a gun as one of my weapons and a sword for another one. The As you get going in the game and buy more expensive guns then they actually hit the guys decently. Otherwise a lot of your, your guns are fairly weak and you're actually just wanting to go and use your your sword go up to the guys and quickly bash them because it hits them for a lot more damage than your gun does. What you think as a shoot 'em up, it should be the guns doing the damage and not a flipping sword. And so as you kill the guys, as you can see there, I'm getting ink, which boosts up my money in the bottom left so I can buy weapons later on. Upper left is my guys I've got left, and then that little beam I'm filling up is what allows you to use your charge shots depending on what you buy on the character if I remember correctly. Now again it's an okay shoot 'em up adventure game. I don't really care for the adventure walking around part. I found it kinda of boring. The levels like this as well, while they tried to be innovative, I couldn't really get into this game. If I wanna play some shoot 'em ups, I'd wanna go back to say R type or Gradius or Life Force. Heck, I'd even play River Raid or Defender on the Atari. Like, I just don't care for this game, unfortunately. And for me, I would have to give this a 4.5 out of 10. And that is it for this review.